Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the Hesse. Day before yesterday, we began our series of math problems from this book here. If you, if you wish to prepare for the math portion of the exam, this series of videos will help you solve every single math problem that you will find in this book. Today is our day number three. By the way, if you happen not to own this book, purchase one immediately. You are going to need it. There is no such thing as preparation for HESI without this book in my hand here that you see here. Admission Assessment, Exam Review. Make sure it is the third edition that you purchase. We are on page number, right now, four. Page number four, please turn to it. The topic that we are dealing with is basic multiplication. Now before we get going and before we start solving the problems, I want to remind you very quickly that in order for you to be efficient at this exam, in order to get a decent score, there are some things that you have to know by heart. And one of those basic fundamental things that you must know by heart are your timetables. You must know your timetables from 1 through 12, not 1 through 10, 1 through 12. If you need help with the timetables, if you wish to learn them in a more efficient, more economical way, in a more straightforward manner, you will find on my channel a series called Series of Basic Math. Somewhere here, right here, Basic Math. You will find 200 videos. Of course, I'm not asking you to watch 12, 200 of them. You must watch the first 12, day 1 through 12, where we learn our timetables. You must know your timetables because that's what we're going to need. That's what we're going to need here in the problem that we are about to solve. The problem that is given to us is something that you will find on page number four in the box. There, it's quite quite uh, conspicuously present. We are told two, four, five, seven, one times one, two, three, three. We are to multiply these numbers. We are to multiply this number. What is this number here? That's, that's 24,000, as you can see, 24,571 times 1,233. Now listen very carefully. This exam that you're preparing for, as you know, is a multiple choice exam. And just like any other multiple choice exam, it has certain weaknesses. One of the weaknesses of multiple choice exam is that, depending on how the answer choices are laid out, you can minimize the amount of work that you put into a given problem. For example here, for example here we have 24,571 times 1,233. We, we don't actually have to do it out the entire problem. The answer choices, they give you four answer choices and they are usually very far apart. If you can approximate, if you can estimate, you can save yourself a great deal of time, which is exactly what we're going to do here. Instead of doing out the damn thing, let's pretend that this is 24,500. 24,500. And instead of 1,233, let's pretend that it is simply 1,200. Are you with me so far? The next thing we're gonna, next thing we're going to do is we're going to simply we're going to simply ignore the two zeros. We're going to simply ignore the two zeros from here and two zeros from here. We are simply going to ignore them. At the end, when we get the answer, we're, going to st we're simply going to stick the two zeros from here and two zeros from here. We're going to simply stick the four zeros to our answers and, and we'll be done. Let's, let's begin the process. I'm not going to do it in a baby way. I'm going to assume that you know your table of 12. And if you do not know your table of 12, you're going to have to memorize it. 12, 12 times 5. In other words, we're not going to multiply by 2 first and then the 1. We're going to multiply by 12 together as a grown-up person. 12 fives, 12 fives are 60. 12 fives are 60. That's 0. Carry 6. Are you with me? 12 fours are 48. 12 fours, 12 plus 12 is 24, and 24 plus 24 is 48 because we're multiplying by 4. 12 fours are 48. 48 plus 2 would have been 50. We don't have 2, we have a 6. So instead of 50, we're going to have 54. 4 carry 5. You're still with me in the story? There we go. 12 times 2, 12 twos are 24. 24 plus 5 is 29. We are done. That's it. The entire process should take no more than a few seconds. Now we stick the four zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. There you go. That's your answer. That's your approximate answer. 1, 2, 3, this comma. 1, 2, 3, comma. Now the question is, what is that number? 
And that number that you see there, again, you, you must know how to read your millions, billions and trillions. It's about time that we learn this thing, how to recognize, how to read our millions, billions and trillions. This is 29,400,000. The last thing we have to do is ask, we have to ask ourselves, is that an underestimation or is that an overestimation? Well, we don't have 1200, we have 1233, we put down 1200, so that's an underestimation. Here we have 24,571, we pretended that it was 24,500, so this is a clear underestimation. Correct answer, whatever it is, correct answer, whatever it is, it's going to be slightly more than 29 million. It's going to be slightly more than 29,400, perhaps around 30 million. But you must know, as I said, your millions, your millions, your billions, and your trillions must know your millions, your billions, and your trillions. And what I and what I mean is what I mean by that is that you must know how many thousands make a million, how many millions make a billion, how many billions make a trillions, how many thousands in a trillion, how many thousands in a billion. How to write them. 10 raised to what exponents makes a billion? 10 raised to what exponents makes a trillion? 10 raised to what exponents makes a million? You must know these things by heart. You shouldn't have to pause and you shouldn't have to think about it. If you're interested in learning all of those things, you will find those all these concepts. Basic math. D22. Just type in just type in basic math day 22 in the series of basic math on day number 22 we learn these concepts of millions billions and trillions let's finish our process okay we're taking too long it is going to take a while which is exactly why you you mustn't do this thing in the exam it will be a damn silly thing to actually do it out in the exam if the, if the exam if they ask you how much is 24,571 times 1233 and if you actually sat down and did it out manually that will be a very foolish thing to do it will be a sheer waste of time but here, we're not taking the exam, we are here for the learning purposes, so we're going to do it out purely for the learning purposes. So let's begin. Let's begin. Enough of the talk. First we have to multiply by 3. 3 ones are 3. 3 sevens are 21. 7 three, seven threes are 21. That's 1. Carry 2. This is, how, this is what I'm saying here. 7 7 7 threes are 21 in case in case you had trouble with my language 7 threes are 21 1 carry 2 3 ones are 3 see 3 ones are 3 that's how we speak 7 threes are 21 1 carry 2 now we're going to have 3 fives 3 fives are 15 3 fives are 15 plus a 2 is 17 that's a 7 carry 1 we are still at 3 3 4 is a 12. 3 4 is a 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. 3 carry 1. 3 2 is a 6. We are still with this 3 and that 2. 3 3 2 is a 6 plus 1 is 7. We are done. We are done with that 3. We move on to the next digit. We move on to the 10 digits. It turns out that the 10 digit is the same as the unit digits, which means we won't have to do all the work again. It's the same exact quantity, except we cannot write, write anything in the unit digit, because it's not a unit digit, it's a 10 digit, so unit digit stays empty. But it's the same number, so it's going to be 3, 1, 7, 3, 7. We don't have to do it out. Now we deal with 2, now we deal with 2, which is a 100 digit. It's a 100 digit, which means the unit digit and the 10 digit are going to stay empty. It's 2 times this quantity, which is going to be quite straightforward. 2 ones are 2. 2 sevens are 14. 4, carry 1. Cross out this 2 and turn it into a 1. Cross it out. Erase it. We no, that 2 no longer exists. We are at 1 now. So, again one more time. 2 ones are 2. Follow my pencil, pencil here, marker here. 2 sevens, 2 sevens are 14. 4, carry 1. We are at, right here at the 5 here. 2 fives are 2 fives are 10, plus 1 is 11, 1, carry 1, even though it's, a, it's the same, but cross it out, even though it's one, 1, and this is 1, cross it out and put it on top to remind yourself that that 1 comes from a different round, that was the previous round, so we are, we are at 5, so 
2, 2 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9 and finally 2 2 is 4 I've been talking so much I hope and pray to God that I did not muck it up muck it up with an M as in Mary not an F okay don't get excited M U C K with a with an M like as I said as in Mary times 1 finally we have to do times 1 which is very simple very straightforward times 1 is going to be the quantity itself but this is a hundred digit uh, this is a thousand digit so we have to hold the unit digit the 10 digit the 100 digit we multiply 1 times this quantity it's going to be quantity itself it's simply going to be 17524 one seven five two four as you can see as you can see the key here is to keep your work neat and clean make sure all your digits line up properly and that's all there is I'm going to change the color now so that we can see the answer that we're working on it's easy so it's three that's all that there's all that's all there is this three is simply going to come down it's just three one plus three is just four and this is where you have to slow down 7 plus 1 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10, so it's 0, 0, carry 1, carry 1. Always write it down, don't try to memorize it. 3 plus 7 is 10, so that takes care of 10. 4 plus 1 is 5, 5, 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, and this was 10. Again, one more time, 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, and this is 10, so this is 16. 6, carry 1. Again, we have another 10, 7 plus 3 is 10. 7 plus 1 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 and 10, 9 plus 10 is going to be 19. 9, carry 1. 1 plus 9 is 10, 1 plus 9 is 10. 7 plus 5, 7 plus 5 is 12, 12 plus 10 is going to be 22. 2, carry 2. 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 8. And finally, 4 something has gone horribly terribly wrong I have to go back and check my work to make sure did I miswrite this number 17542 175 is 42 not 24 see this is exactly why this is exactly why I do not like to do it this way not only it takes a very long time but if you end up making this carefully since I did make a mistake I'm going to break into a little sermon there are four answer choices there one of them, of course, is the correct answer. You have to ask yourself, what is the purpose of the other four answer choices? What are the other, other three answer choices, rather? Where are the other two, three answer choices coming from? Do they just pick at random? Do they just fall from the sky? No, the other three answer choices that you see are the three most popular wrong answer, three, three most popular mistakes. And if you end up making one of those three most popular mistakes in your work, then your answer choice, whatever it is that you come up with, will agree with one of the answer choices that they give you. And you will never know that you made a mistake. Even though the mistake that I just made is not going to be one of the most three most popular mistakes. Mistake that I made was simply moronic. I just wasn't paying attention. It, it is not 4 2. It is, it is not 4 2. It is 2 4. This 2 has to go here. 4 has to go here. But the question is. The question is, how did I catch myself? Well, we caught ourselves because we already know the answer. It's going to be around 29 million. It's going to be around 30 million. 29 million is an underestimation. It's going to be a little more than that. It's going to be around 30 million. We were getting 48 million for Christ's sake. Something has gone wrong, obviously. Let's fix it, shall we? Let's fix it. Should I? I'm not going to erase it. I'm going to cross it out so you can see it. So now 4 plus 4 is 8. Why is it still 8? I have no idea what happened. And then 2. So it's 28 million. Oh, yeah, yeah. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 3. Uh, 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. 0. Carry 1. And then 1 plus 2 is going to be 3. It could not have been 28 million. We just said it. The answer is going to be something more than 29 million. As a matter of fact, from the very beginning, we established that it's going to be around 30 million. 29 million was an underestimation. It's going to be around 30 million. It could not possibly be 28 million either because I forgot to add this, this two right here. Just now I did 4 plus 4. 
and I came up with 8 and I did wonder how come it's still 8 when we switched the places. Before the 4 was here and we, we had an 8, how come when we switched the places still 8? That's because I forgot I had forgotten this 2. This 2, 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10 and it's a 0. Carry 1 and that 1 plus 2 becomes 3. But even if, not, if, even if those things, even though these things happen, two major accidents happens just now, still we knew right away that that answer is wrong. That answer, the two answers to us is 48,000 that I came up with first, and then 48, uh, not 48,000 uh, rather, 48 million, the first answer choice that I come, came up with, and the second answer choice that I made a second boo boo where we came up with 28 million. They were both wrong. How do we know they were both wrong? Because we already know the answer. It's got to be around 30 million. Do it this way. Stick with this thing. You are less likely to make mistakes and you will save yourself a great deal of time. The correct answer, the precise answer, turns out to be 30,296,043. But who gives a damn? Nobody cares. Just pick an answer choice that comes to 30 million and you'll be all set in the exam. Do you understand? Why not?